Woo-hoo-hoo! Let's go! Woo-hoo-hoo! He's going in the box. There we go. No snack. No snack. Good shot. Oh, oh! <laughs> it didn't even hit the bottom. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Blue Water Life. It is a slicker out here in the bay, so hopefully it is in the ocean. It's supposed to be five mile an hour winds or less, somewhere in there. Um, so coming from the south, so it should be really good mahi fishing weather. Um, so we're gonna see, but now let me show you guys what I'm working with today. We got, if you see my white bucktail jig, that is the go-to. If you haven't seen my videos on how to catch mahi, you're definitely gonna use that. Black and purple squid rig, which is another solid. Um, we got uh, our regular live bait hooks. So these are just J hooks. I like these because the mahi will swallow them a little bit easier. Circle hooks make it really tough. Um, we got a vertical jig in case we run into some tuna or some wahoo. Uh, and then old faithful here, uh, Van X 1000. We may, on the way back, uh, try to get some vermilions, tilefish, goldens. I don't really know snow groupers whatever wants to bite i can't really can't really dictate it but um i'm gonna head on out uh we're in the bay i'm gonna see if i can get some see if we can get some bait first find some live bait they've been really small but mahi will pretty much eat anything as long as you can get them on the hook um that's the point but uh if i find some bait we'll see you guys at the bait stop if not we'll see you guys out in the blue water and uh so in the winter the bait is usually out in different spots in the bay and they're they're a lot bigger i don't know why maybe for whatever reason um the warm water in the bay attracts all the bigger pilchards but in the summertime they're they're usually smaller and then they end up conjugating all around kind of the islands and stuff so that's all we're looking for now is some see them running in the grass it's easier to see them if you look in the uh, where like the dirt and the grass mix because you'll see them run across. I see some flickering up there already if you guys can see it's some bubbling on the top so that's a dead giveaway they're right there. I'm gonna get the net set up and then uh, be ready to throw. I'm not gonna lie I have a Betts net and this is a this is the Juju net real reports um, Honestly, you can tell the difference. The mesh on these nets, this is freaking awesome. The mesh is great. The They don't get tangled the same. Um, I have a big bets net, and I'm gonna invest in, a, in another Juju here soon, just because I spend more time trying to clean up that mess, and it's just not worth it, you know, the 200 bucks, so. All we're doing is couple things right is whenever you're throwing the net it got to be clean no twists nothing so if not you just wasted your time I always stretch this thing out if you guys haven't seen I do have a video on how to throw a cast net um, it is in there definitely watch it if you guys want to learn how to get your own bait I'm one of those guys like I refuse to buy bait uh, whether I'm cheap or just the fact that I think part of this part of fishing is actually learning how to catch your own bait so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up and kind of sit like the schools right here you can see them all kind of flickering I'm just gonna go kind of sit in the middle of it and turn the engines off here and just let us let us drift a little bit the engine sometimes will scare them away so we will see. I don't know if I turned us over enough. All right. Oh, there they are. I can see them already. See them on the bottom. See them running. See them flickering there. Yeah, they're flickering everywhere in there. They are thick. I can see them all sitting in this grass. There we go. Let's try to get a one and done so I... I do not have to get soaking freaking wet. 
Oh. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Oh yeah. We are filled to the brim here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at them all. These are small little pilchards and, and they will die quick. So said they're not big in the summer, but they're bait and they work just fine for Mahi Mahi. All right, well, I threw a couple more times. I mean, you can see that thing is black out thick. There's not that many, there, there are a lot of smaller baits, so I'll be honest, when we're out there, we're gonna be chumming. Once we get on the school, uh, we're gonna be chumming. So for anyone who wants to criticize my bait, um, I'm not using that bait to catch the fish. I'm using the bucktail jig to catch the fish. The bait's just to keep them around. And then there's bigger ones in there, so all I need to do is get a bigger one, put it on the hook, and mahi will eat it. Um, I've never had a mahi take a too small of a bait. That's how you want to say it. The bait's too big. I've had mahi, the smaller ones in like the low 20s, not be able to eat the bait. So they just kind of pass it up. But every mahi eats something that's, you know, three inches long uh, as far as, you know, pilchards go. So still beautiful day. Um, we're going to run on out of haul over. I'm going to ourselves moving here. Let's go catch some fish. To the top we go. Woohoo, it's one of those days. Ah. Let's get the bird mode activated. I don't even know if this thing freaking makes any sense, but let's go. Woohoo, what up, day? What a day, boys. Off to the Mahi grounds. Let's do this. Woohoo! Yeah! We've been uh, about an hour along, driving around now. We've found zero weed. This is the first weed patch that I'm out here. I'm like in, I mean, it's not even picking it up. It's probably like 15 miles off the beach. You can barely see the buildings, but. You gotta find the structure. If not, we're just, you know, dead rolling here. But now, find a little bit of weed. I don't see much on a, from a bait perspective on here. So, we're gonna give it a couple more tosses and then if nothing, we'll keep moving. Sometimes the mahi are sitting around the outside, so. You gotta make noise and or cast away from it. Woo like two seconds. Barely even got him in the water. Woo, my heel. Oh, oh, oh. I just lost him. He just popped off. Just popped off. Oh, another one got him. Oh. Mahi on, Mahi on. They're nice ones, too. There he is. There they are. They're good ones. Oh, man, there's a huge skull. There's a huge skull. There he is. Got him. Got him. All right, Mahi on, Mahi on. Woo -hoo. 
Mama, my, my, my. Throw some chummers in, baby. Woo! You can see them all. Ha <laughs> ha, let's go. All it takes was one. All it takes was one. Found a nice one right here. Throw a little J hook on. There he is. Got him. Swallow it. Got him. Got him on, baby. Hey, hey. Let's go. Let's go. Whew. <laughs> They're everywhere again. These are good sizers. Get them all fired up. Let's get another fish on, baby. Circle hook is all the work. Cool, there's a nice through. Oh, he's a small guy. Let's find the big ones. Where's the big ones, boys? There he is. Let's get this baby in the boat. Oh yeah. Got him. Woo! One on. One down. Right in the box, baby. Right in the box. Woo! Let's get another one. Oh my god. <laughs> I couldn't even I couldn't even get it. Oh! Oh! Let's get this baby. It's a good size right here. Another one. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Let's go, my. On the big one. It's like a hunt, baby. They're almost eating the damn hook. Like I said, that's why big baits don't really matter. I mean, look, we'll. we'll let him run, let him run, let him swallow it, click the bail. There he is. There he is, baby! Oh. 
Actually, he's a decent one. Let's get him in the boat. Right in the box with this baby. Whoa! <laughs> in the box! I'm gonna make a mess in there. All right, let's try to pick off the big dogs. Oh! We need 20. We'll, we'll let him lift. <sighs> Guys, this is this is just wild. Watch this. Watch that. Holy goodness. Gracious. That's what we were looking for, boys. It's what we were looking for. <laughs> the big one got it right next to the boat. He's going in the box. In the boat. Woo! Boys! Boys. Left them chewing. Have a good day. Get bigger, boys. It's raining. Ah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, see the water spout. Came on in. We're gonna do a little deep dropping. This rig's a little different. I just honestly, I just made this rig. This has smaller hooks. These are like 3.0 or 4.0 circle hooks. Um, if they're too big, it, the vermilions, they it can't get the bait in their mouth. At least that's what I found. Oh, I didn't lose my weight yet, so the rig did not fail. To the bottom. Just marked some, looks like tuna. Oh, oh. <laughs> it didn't even hit the bottom. It didn't even hit the bottom. It didn't even hit the bottom. Ah. <laughs> that is a black fin. No sharks. Oh no, he is frantic. That's a bonita. That's a skipjack. What? That is a skipjack tuna. There's something small in here. No black fins today, just Bonita. Bonita. Here we go, buddy. 
Off you go. There he is. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yes. Woo. Some big. Some big dragon. Nice vermilion. Woo! A nice vermilion snapper. Look at the size of that hunk. And I still got my weight. Wow. I almost lost that baby though. It is so chafed up to drop or not to drop again that oh god let him eat it this time we're messing around there we go hold on all right we got him now we got him now baby get him on get him on i see one I'll see another one for million. Definitely another one over 12. Throw them in the box. We're doing one more. See him biting it. Let him, let's let him eat it. my bait. Ah, I think we're snagged. There we go. No snack. No snack. Switch on. No snack. Fish on. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's a hog. This thing is such a hog. He ate both of the baits. Whew. That is a vermilion. I wanna, I wanna <coughs> measure this thing. This thing is a hog vermilion right here. No, thanks. Oh, good. Bleed all over me. Appreciate it. It's a tail. It's a 17, 17 inch. That is a 17 inch vermilion snapper right there, boys and girls. Whew. That's him eating good. Like I said, we got a we got a box full of fish right there, boys. Got the vermilion bowlers mahi mahi. Put a little ice bath for him. That is some solid vermilion snappers right there. Right, boys, well, what a day out in the water. Uh, I mean, nonstop. Mahi, Mahi, honestly, Mahi were a little tough. I had to run pretty far and I found one patch just covered in them and that was it. That's all I saw all day, but there was not much weed. The weed was like scattered and was real like blocked up and it was not thick at all. Very little debris. I, even, I didn't even see one balloon, which is crazy. So. Um, we came into the spot, did a bunch of deep drops, got those vermilions. Um, I really liked them last time, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna cook those up again. But um, we're gonna head on into the house, back into the house uh, through Hallover Inlet, and then we'll see you guys probably on the fillet table, or maybe in the kitchen, or maybe not. I don't really know, but stay tuned. We'll see you guys soon. Well. The next day I'm, i was working all day that's why i got this fantastic polo on but we had all our fish 
getting all the mahi and stuff. I had them on ice for like 24 hours now. I mean, that is the solid brine. This is, there's salt water in here, there's ice in here. But we're gonna, we're gonna flay these things up. They should be super nice and firm. And then we're probably gonna do, um, I'm gonna try some cornmeal tacos, probably with a snapper. I'm gonna give a lot of the mahi away um, to neighbors and friends because I don't like to I don't like to freeze it when I freeze it it just never tastes the same so I'd rather catch it um, while I can it's a season now so give it away friends family neighbors whoever's here and wants some mahi mahi but I'm gonna grab these fish and let's fly them up oh it's so cold Thanks, man. Oh, it's so cool. Whoo, whoo, pulling the plug. Ah, freezing. Whew, okay. Oh. God, it's so cold. Look at that hog. Look at that hog. Freaking vermilion, seventy inch here. Shadow, you ready? She's ready for some flying. Three, four. No, I did. I thought I only took five. Five. Good thing I didn't take one more. Six. Oh, my hands. My God. fried fish uh that vermilion snapper that we caught so um, let me show you show you what i'm working with so we have all of our snapper i cut them up into fillets there um we got we're gonna put in some egg wash and then this is cornmeal flour salt and pepper um you can get the cornmeal from Publix or anywhere else we're gonna fry her up what is better than putting fish and some vegetable oil and then into my mouth. So first things first, we're gonna get all the fish here. And we are tossing it in this egg wash. I'm gonna do this a little different than I normally do. So it's really difficult to do with one hand, but we're gonna soak them up here. This egg wash, and then I'm gonna put them all into the cornmeal and we're gonna mix it and see if this works. Oh God. Maybe half at a time. And then we're gonna give this baby a mix. Make sure that lid's on tight. Oh no. Splatter. Oh, I could have put more fish in here. Let's check them out. 
Ooh. Look at those things. Nice and cornmeal bread. They're not really cornmeal either. More like flour. I don't know. Maybe I put too much damn flour in here. Alright. Get them in the fryer. These things turn out bad. I am gonna be pissed because I put all of my snapper in one bucket. Oh goodness. Turn the heat down a bit there. Give it a couple minutes, we'll flip them, and then we'll pull them on out. I'm not gonna lie, they're not coming out very like, I mean, they kinda look like, they look like um, chicken tenders from like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh well. So they are like crunchy looking. They're a lot lighter in person, I don't know why, but definitely different than what I'm used to, so. Let's taste test these. No sauce, nothing. Ah, it's just freaking hot. Get a smaller one. They're all freaking hot. So, this is either gonna be do this recipe again or never cook this ever again. We're about to find out. Pretty good. It tastes like a chicken tender you'd get from uh, McDonald's, but oh, it tastes like a chicken tender with a cornmeal. Next time, I'm definitely doing some of the, there's more coarse cornmeal. This is like, this is super fine. That's why I think it came out like this, but either way, these are pretty good. So, well, boys, I outdid myself here. That is some homemade coleslaw. That is a secret recipe. <clears throat> You get off the internet, but it's really good. Let's make this sandwich. We're gonna do cheese on the bottom like McDonald's. We're gonna pick some, some nice and hot fillets there. Ooh, doggy, look at that. We're gonna top that sandwich, oh shit, off with some coleslaw. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is right, that right there is a fish sandwich, baby. Ooh, looking good. I'm not even putting any sauce on there. I'm not even putting any hot sauce. Smash it down like a smash burger. And then we're about to give it a go. I had to throw this one in as a bonus after making that coleslaw. This thing is crispy. Look at that. Oh my God. Way better on a sandwich than just eating the straight fish fillets. That tastes like a fish sandwich you would get from the store. Holy crap. I changed my mind about this cornmeal stuff. This is really freaking good. Oh my God. So good. Oh. So good. Woo. Woo, I'm gonna eat the rest of this. Thanks so much for watching guys. More fishing and boating videos on the way. This is Blue Water at Life.